rides and flashing across the sky. Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Champion No Wonder. over an old man holds bread. According to that sign, it says keep out or get shot. Looks mighty unhealthy to be looking for strays on Holt's property. That's not his property. That fence is 50 yards on my side of the boundary. If you let that sign stop you, I'll be hiring a new foreman. It's oil, all right. But if you find it on Holt's place, it'll do us no good. He'll never sell. Well, I thought you being a businessman, buying and selling land, you might figure some way. Not with Tram Holt. But I'd sure like to own a ranch with oil like this on it. Well, you could buy that ranch cheap if Tram had an accident. But it would have to look like an accident. Hey, you, Holt! Son tells me you took a shot at him. I didn't try to hit him, but I will the next time he comes shooting on my place. You'd shoot a man just for trespassing? Yes, and killing animals on my place. You and your animals. You uh, trying to pick a fight again, Tram? No, I'm just protecting my rights. And you ought to be doing it. What, spend all my time guarding deer and jackrabbit on your place? I'll take care of that. But when George Marlowe pulls down my fence, you don't arrest him. You see him do it? No, I don't have to. I know it is Marlowe. And when I find him, you take the law in your own hands, you can swing for it. I'll take my chances. Marlowe pays for that fence or else. That old coot shouldn't be allowed to pack a gun. You know, that feud is bound to end in shooting sooner or later. We're going to make it sooner. Oh. If Marlowe's found dead, Tram will swing for murder like the sheriff said. Especially if Marlowe's found on Tram's place. Yeah, but... Say, I'd get the boss to argue with Tram. Shoot a couple of steers and say Tram did it. And then what? Well, Tram would probably shoot Marlowe. Probably isn't good enough. I want to make sure I get that oil there. Now, uh, if you were around when they argue, you could kind of help Tram out. Well, hello, Rebel, old boy. 
Ricky coming? from its mother. So I thought maybe you'd take care of it because you know so much about animals. Well, Ricky, it ain't that I know so much about animals. It's that I like them. Mr. Holt, you love animals so much. Why don't you like people? Well, because you can trust animals. You can't trust people. But you trust me, don't you? Oh, of course. But all people aren't bad. If you knew Uncle Sandy better, you'd like him. Yeah, maybe. I liked a partner I had once. He skipped out and left me flat broke. People are just like my partner was. Or like that Marlowe, trying to push back my rightful boundary. Better get the little fella some water. Mr. Holt? I thought you'd like it. I certainly do. And I'll come back tomorrow. We're going home now, Rebel. Goodbye, Mr. Holt. So long, Reggie. And thanks again. You're welcome. <laughs> it's you, champ. You see? you right now for tearing down my fence. Your fence? Yeah. On my side of the boundary. And I found two of my steers shot dead behind it. Well, I didn't do it. But if I'd have seen him, I would. Now get out of here. You don't scare me none. Well, I never shot an unarmed man. But if you ain't right away from here by the time I count three, I'm liable to. Smells like it ain't been fired. That proves that I didn't shoot him. No, I don't, Trim. You had plenty of time to clean and reload the rifle. Sure he did. Boss told me he was coming here after he found those steers shot. But I didn't worry about him until his horse come home alone. I tell you, I didn't do it. The shot come from outside. Well, I'm not the judge or the jury, but you feuding with Marlowe and threatening him, his body being found outside your house, who believe that? And who else would have a reason? Yeah. Trim? I'm holding you for Marlowe's murder. You better finish your milk, Ricky. I just know he didn't do it, Uncle Sandy. Well, the evidence is awful strong against him. But if he'd have done it, he'd have said so. He's honest. You just don't know Mr. Holt like I do. Nobody does. That's part of the trouble, Ricky. 
He went out of his way to make enemies. He hasn't got a friend in the world to stand up for him. Well, he's got me. I know that, but there's not much a boy can do. I still think you ought to finish your milk. Hi, Idaho. We leave it to the law. He's liable to go free. How do you figure that, Spencer? Ain't you heard yet? Tram's got himself a lawyer. Who? McGregor, smartest one in the territory. Could even prove that Cain didn't kill Abel. Everybody knows Trem did it. Yeah, but there ain't no witnesses. Yeah, it does make a difference. Like I was telling you, we've got to do something about this, boys. Hey, Ward, what do you think? I know, I heard. We can't let that case go to trial, Idaho. I just got a report from the oil company. <whistles> Looks like the oil on Trem's land is worth millions. The company wants more samples. Yeah, but if McGregor gets Trem off. Even if he doesn't. Trem only gets a prison sentence, we lose. What do we do? Well, like Spencer said, we can't leave it to the law. The way folks feel, it shouldn't be too tough to get rid of Tram before the trial. Yeah, except there's the sheriff. Don't worry about him. He's got no more love for Tram than the rest of them. That's right. Well, it's up to you now. They're riled up, but they're not riled up enough. They will be. Bill, are you locking up this early? Let's get moving, Sandy. There's trouble coming up. What, on account of tram? That's right. You might need help. If I can't handle the job alone, I'll turn in my badge. All right, hold it. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, you can take a walk and save the territory some money. You kind of got the wrong idea of my job, ain't you, Spencer? It's enforcing the law, not counting costs. You know Trim Holt killed Marlowe. What's the difference how he pays for it? Don't matter what I think. Trim's got the same rights under the law as you have. You ain't got a chance, Sheriff. There's too many of us. To make me shoot, there'll be six less of you. <laughs> now I've got five slugs left. I don't want to use them, but I will on anyone who ain't out of here in 30 seconds. That goes for all of you. Spencer, Jones, Idaho, Sandy North. I'm starting to count now. Tram's gonna hang yet, Sheriff. You ain't hanging him. me to thank you for protecting me, you're wrong. You're just protecting your job. town, Sandy. They're organizing the mob to attack the jail. And to protect his job, he sneaked me out here. Now, wait a minute, Holt. Bill, why'd you call my name today in the crowd in town? I had a hunch I might need some help. I didn't want to get him suspicious of you. He says I can trust you, Norris. But you'll hide me out till I get a fair trial. <laughs> I wouldn't trust you no more than anybody else. Mr. Holt! I couldn't help hearing can have this back. If you can't trust Uncle Sandy, you can't trust me. I do trust you, boy, but... You said all people were bad. They aren't. I'll do whatever Ricky says. Stay here. Sandy will let you. Don't try to escape. Hey, you can stay here, Holt, so long as Ricky will vouch for you. I will, Uncle Sandy. Thank you, Ricky. If Mr. Holt gives us word, you won't need those handcuffs, Sheriff.
believe I didn't do it, don't you, Ricky? Well, I know you wouldn't lie, Mr. Holt. Who do you think did it? I don't know. But the shots come from outside of my house. Maybe there's a rifle shell somewhere. Maybe Champ and Rebel and I can find it. Maybe you can find a needle in a haystack, if there is one. Find one like this, Rebel. Like this. Find it. Find it. There's just got to be one around. Someone else fired that shot. What's the oil company want more samples for? Well, they just want to run another test. But they're sure it's high quality right now. Well, yeah, nothing will do us much good if we don't find out where the sheriff hid trim. Well, the trial doesn't come up for another week yet. We'll find them. Doggone it. Hang the luck. My best pair of boots. Well, they're not worth a hoot now, soaked with oil. Let's get rid of them. But I pay $20 for them. I don't care what you pay. Get rid of them. I'll wait till I get back to the ranch. Oh, sure. And have every puncher asking where you got the oil. Yeah, they'll also ask why I come in barefooted. They won't. You can slip in the back of my office and I'll get you another pair. Good idea. All right, let's bury those. Find some rocks and get rid of them. I guess it's not much use. Just like the sheriff said it wouldn't be. Rebel. The North kid. Looks like he's digging up my boots. Boots. He's covered with oil. Rebel, he's got to get these to Uncle Sandy and the sheriff. Come on, boy. If he shows anybody those boots. He ain't going to. Wait a minute. Shoot him and we're really in trouble. Don't I know it. But if he gets on that horse, we'll never catch him. So I spook up the horse and he don't get on. All right. Go ahead. He won't bother us for quite a spell. No. I got a hunch he's going to be big help to us. Help? Yeah, he and Trim are pretty good pals, weren't they? The only human around here, Trim treated as good as he did animals. So if you were the sheriff and looking for a hiding place for Trim, where would you take him? I never thought of that. Neither did I till just now. You know, running into him might have been a good break for us. Let's go down the scout around the north place. Well, after we pick up a pair of boots for me, I'm not cut out for barefoot. All right, this time let's get rid of the old ones for good. Sandy? Oh, what now? 
Trent's lawyer just got to town. He did? Well, why didn't you bring him out here? The town's watching him like cats with a mouse. I'd have been followed. If I take him back to jail... Well, that's exactly what you're going to do. Now, if you ain't the honoriest old galoot... Well, I've got a right to see my lawyer, and it's up to you to see that I get it. Like that, something's usually wrong. Think there's something the matter with Ricky? That's the only reason he'd act like this. I'll go with you. Give me your word to stay here? Well, where would I go? There's the sheriff. Looks like we hit pay dirt. All right, Rebel, come on, let's go. Dog must be taking him to the kid. Yeah. Giving us a chance to play our hunch about Tram. Let's mask up. Say, hey, Sheriff, we ought to stop and let Ricky rest a minute. I... I thought I could make it home on Champ, all right. But all of a sudden, I got weak and slipped right down off his back. You'll be all right. All you've got's a pretty good bump on the head. Too bad you didn't see who fired those shots at you. It was too sudden, and, and I was too scared. But Rebel and Champ must have seen who it was. I'm afraid that testimony won't stand up in court. Ricky, are you sure it was oil on those boots? Yes, thick black oil. Just look at my hands. Well, I guess we can start again. It's Idaho. Probably on his way to town to stir up trouble about that lawyer. He gets excited like that. What's the matter with him? Well, our testimony may not stand up in court, but it's worth looking into. from Idaho. I just wanted to ask you a question. Uh, that horse and the dog look like they were after me. Could be. Let's go back and let the sheriff ask the questions. Well, from what they say, the oil that Idaho and Ward discovered on your spread is going to make you a rich man, Tram. Probably twice as ornery as ever. <laughs> Not me. You fellas got some of the poison out of me I've been storing up for so long. Saving me the way you did. Don't forget the animals, Mr. Holt. If it hadn't been for Rebel and Champ, Idaho might have gotten away. Oh, I won't forget the animals, Ricky. But from now on, I'm going to be friends with the two-legged critters the same as the four-legged ones. <laughs> Alive. 
lights and flash across the sky. Like a twisted arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone. 